flood problems in Hampton Roads has our attention now. It's a big task, right? We are getting at least an update on at least one project underway in Norfolk. Let's bring in reporter Penny Commit, who is live this afternoon with new information. Hey there, Penny, what can you tell us? Yeah, Aaron, hey, good afternoon. Now, this fishing pier being built right behind me is actually just one of the many developments that are coming to the Chesterfield Heights area as part of a 112 million dollar Ohio Creek project. Now, Senator Tim Kaine was in Norfolk today to get an update on this project, which is expected to be completed by the end of this year. Currently, only two roads allow access to this community, and one of them is just totally undrivable during regular nuisance flooding. So the Ohio Creek project plans to alleviate this issue with layers of defense, such as wetlands, berms, new drainage networks, raised roads, and a new pump station, which just finished construction last week. Historic neighborhoods shouldn't just be casually allowed to disappear, so these really mean something to people. But if we don't, in Norfolk and more broadly in Hampton Roads, make these investments right, then we knock, you know, a lot of the pillar out of the second largest regional economy in the Commonwealth. So that's why we need to make these investments. Now, according to the city, the Ohio Creek project is preparing them for a much larger Norfolk Coastal Storm Risk Management project. Now, this one is a lot more expensive. It's nearly one and a half billion dollars, and that's going to alleviate some of the flooding issues that are closer to downtown as long as put some levees in Town Point Park. So if this project goes well, they'll learn from it and then hopefully implement those steps to the larger project again, coming in at nearly one and a half billion dollars and the HUD funding for this project also allows for some nice amenities to be put into this community. So along with the fishing pier that I mentioned behind me, they will get new parks. They'll have a new playground, basketball courts. There'll also be a biking and pedestrian walkway. We're live in Norfolk. I'm Penny Commit News 3.